Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're here to do my April budget. Um, as you can see, I already went ahead and laid down the kit for the month from Caffeinated Kate. Um, so let's just jump in and get started. Um, if you watched one or a couple of my previous videos, you'll know that I recoiled this planner to, or I uncoiled it and added an extra notes page in each month. So as of right now, I don't know what I'm doing with this page before the month. So we're just going to kind of leave that there. Um, eventually I might use it for like a variable income, but I don't really have that. Um, except like with my uh, student loan income, which I'm hoping will be done after this term. Or um, I guess probably not because my grants don't cover my tuition entirely, but um, yeah, so let's just kind of jump right into this. Um, if you watched my haul, I've got this from Caffeinated Kate, and these are super pretty designs. I love them. I think they're adorable. But let's scoot those out of the way, and we'll just get started on April or on the budget, not April, because the whole part of this is April. Okay. So, and we'll peel this off. And these, if you haven't watched, these are three pieces of washi, which is super handy. Um, <coughs> excuse me. but we'll pull this thing off and I like to line it up right at the top of my page which is why I fold it out away from the rest of my book and I line it right up with the edge of this flag or the lines and it just fits so nicely there and then we'll go ahead and pull this April budget and stick that right there. It's not quite centered, but that's all right. All right. And then let's see, I centered this last month and that didn't really bother me. So maybe I'll see about doing it again. Um, I thought it would bother me more having it in the middle instead of Um, aligned on the left but it didn't bother me a ton so we're just going to kind of go with that although maybe I should have put some lines or something before I tried to lay down that total. Alright. And I'm only including a third line here for a variable income for the purpose of financial aid disbursement. Um, because right now that's really, that's like my only extra income, if that makes sense. And I know it's not really, but um, it's just kind of how it's worked out. Okay, so Monday, April 8th. And the 23rd is on Tuesday. And this is variable, which will be my student loans, because we get disbursement goes out on the 27th of March, but that is when the um, loans get dispersed to the school. So I'm not expecting it until the first week of April. And all right, so we are just going to peel this. Oh, 
All right, I love these colors and these flowers. They're so pretty. Okay, and we'll do fixed expenses. Over here, just because that is my longer list. And I will write these out before I draw my lines or put in the total. So we have Kinder Music, Storage, Wells Fargo, VSP for my vision insurance, Mighty Fix, Um, one of my Capital One cards and these one of them is a secured card so I had to put a deposit down to Capital One to get the card and one of them is not and then Capital One Auto Amazon free time for Declan Discover, Pandora, Verizon, and CBB Collections. Okay, and if you've noticed a couple things from March, my list is a lot shorter. I paid off my PRA debts. If you guys haven't watched, they are done done paid off I'm over them um, my final payment for both is processing right now so that was super exciting But that is why you don't see those there. You won't see those ever again. And I do want to include a section here before I start writing in totals. A section here to do check boxes because I like to check them off. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I like to check them off as they get paid. And I check them off on my calendar view, I check them off on here, and I check them off in the back of my planner. I sort of check them off. Let me see if I can find that for you. My little, um, my bill tracker, and I kind of squiggle it in. This red is those are bills that I don't have to pay anymore. Um, and then I'll just add more debts to the bottom as I don't have to pay, like, I don't have to pay these off, so I added one of my student loans. So that's how that's going. And then we'll add in my variable expenses. And we line this one up. To this side. All right. And this one is the exact same as last month. It's daycare, fuel, groceries, household. Allowance, sinking funds, business expenses, which really is just the stickers I buy off of Etsy, um, extra debt payments. and unbudgeted.
Trying to sort of get this lined up. Actually, I don't know why I even try to line it up. From a line I drew anyway, knowing it's not going to be straight. Actually, that one was pretty good. When I should just line it up to the edge of the page where the top one was lined up to. All right, and this one I already kind of have like a rough budget-ish going on. So I budgeted 300 for daycare, 80 for fuel, 400 for groceries, 50 for allowance, 100 to go to sinking funds. Um, I did 130 for business expenses. It does not cost me that much for all of my stickers, I promise. Um, it just covers my stickers and then anything else that I might need. Uh, 50 for extra debt payments and zero for unbudgeted, which brings me to $1,110, which is high. Um, I'm hoping my daycare shouldn't be that high. Groceries shouldn't be that high. Business expenses shouldn't be that high. Um, my allowance shouldn't be that high. The only thing that I want to be where I budget it here or over is de extra debt payments and sinking funds. <coughs> oh, sorry guys. And then I do want to include my goals for April. And I need this one. Let's see. And I think we'll pull the blue one. And where is it? I know there's a goals. Oh, right there. Okay. Goals. And then I will pull these. Mm, I think we'll use, we'll go ahead and use the pink ones. And I give each goal two lines, which is why these are not like on a line. It's these two lines for one. And I hope to have three. And I won't fill those in just because like my goals for March is to start paying on one of my student loans and then pay off half of one of my collections, which half of it is $915. And I did just have a payment of $549 clear. So I'm like halfway done with that at least. But um, I don't wanna make these super specific yet, uh, just in case. So we're just gonna leave those blank for now. And then we'll go ahead and fill in my month. And I already did um, pre-fill these out to help save some time. So we've got some purple. Let's pull in this dark purple for my paydays. And these, these Payday stickers are Planner Kate. They're not Caffeinated Kate. But that's fine because I love both of their stickers. And I just had to find 
what works for me when and where. So we're just going to fill. We're just going to put these in here. All right, so. Music and storage is on the first. Wells Fargo's on the second, except this is all gonna bother me because all of these are crooked. And then these budget stickers that I'm laying down now are also Planner Kate. And I do have both shops linked down below. Uh, we're just going to kind of stick to one side for now, so I'm not constantly flipping back and forth. If I can remember what bills are due when. Some of these I don't actually know the due dates. Okay. And then I just have on the 30th will be daycare and this collections. Okay. And this is on the 5th. Amazon free time, I believe, is the 17th. Oh, that's on this page. Oh, I'm doing a terrible job of not flipping you guys back and forth. Okay. The rest of these are definitely 19, 20, and the 20th, and the 25th. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of stick this off to the side because I don't want to like set it to a specific date of when I'll get my financial aid disbursement. But I do want to put in my no spend weeks, which would be the 25th through the 31st. So it'll be the 8th through the 14th and the 22nd pay week. How fitting. <coughs> I don't want to use pink. I feel like that'll be too close to my Bill's stickers. And I always have it seems like I need to like maybe readjust my pay schedules, not my pay schedules, my no spend schedule, or just get more self-discipline, I guess, which isn't that the goal. No spend. At least this one only has two, because I think March has three, even though one of them starts on the 25th, or started on February 25th. So 
March 8th through 14th and March 22nd through 28th. April. April. There we go. We'll, we'll get there, guys. Okay. So those are in. I'm just going to put these over as reminders because I don't like to leave sticky notes in here too long. Financial aid disbursement and a budget for it. Okay. So that's in and this is done. And I'll just go ahead and fill in those numbers later, not a huge deal. But all right. So that's how April is looking for me so far. And I hope you guys like this video. We'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.